What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are learning how to create a button on a JavaScript canvas without having the button off on the side. Let's get right into it. Alright, the first thing you want to do is make a canvas. I already made a canvas and defined it here. I already made a function draw border. Basically what this does is show you where the canvas is, that way you don't get confused. And then I made a interval, which means it would just repeat draw border every 10 milliseconds, which means it will basically keep drawing this. All right, the first thing we wanna do in making an interactable button is make a function is inside button. Basically what this function will do is it will always be checking if your mouse is inside your button or if anything is inside a specific area and that will be wrecked. Here's how this works. So pause, that means your mouse position. Wrecked equals your object position like button. So it will return true or false for if the mouse is more than the left side of the canvas but still within the boundaries of the x-axis which means it is not on the edge but inside the button and then it will also see if the y is inside the button so basically like it's checking if it's inside a specific box all right the next thing you want to do is add a variable and this variable is your button variable so basically you're just going to have a variable i'm going to call mine button you could call yours whatever you want I'm going to have the X basically where the button is going to be drawn at 150 and the Y going to be 180. It's going to be 50 by 50 pixels wide and its color is going to be lime. I always use a status for color. Alright, next up what we do is make another function called get mouse pause and basically what this will do is just get the position wherever your mouse is so the next part what we do is a little bit tricky we use the canvas variable which we described in the beginning as the canvas we use and we're going to add an event listener basically it's saying it's waiting to see if you click anything or if you move your mouse or anything like that we're listening for a click so anytime you click the button and we're going to have a function where we want to do all this stuff so we're going to put function and then we're going to put event which means it will be an event like clicking is an event so we're going to have to define event we make a variable called mouse pause and it gets the mouse position in the canvas and we're going to define event once more and then we add an if statement, which basically is checking if it's inside the button. If your mouse is inside the button, which is what is mouse pause, then basically it's just going to print into the console hi. So it still isn't going to work. We need to draw the button so you can actually see it on screen. We already have the function to see if you click the button we're going to need to have the functions to see where the button is so let's go ahead and make that all right in order to do this we have to make a draw button function which will just draw the button so we ask for the name of the button and the color of it so we change the color of the button to whatever we selected we make a stroke style which will be black which means it will make an outline around the button and then we fill the rectangle wherever the button is and we set the line width very a little big which means it would just make a thicker outline than normally and then that just draw their button so we are going to put in the interval that we have the thing that repeats after a certain amount of milliseconds to draw button and so we're going to draw the button and we're going to have its status as the color. And now if we run this, 
we should get the final product. All right, we just ran it and let's see if the button works. If it does, we should have something printed out into the console right here. Oh, it works. We have high printed out into the console. Let's see, it just worked for sure. Yes, it does. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful and I'll see you guys later.